Hey guys, thanks for joining me again for another episode on my YouTube channel, Long Live the Brains. I hope that everyone had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did. I got to spend it with my wife and uh, friends and family. It's always such a special time. Um, and it's always tough to get back into the swing of things afterwards. So I hope everyone has successfully done that. Um, I want to switch gears a little bit today. Um, this series was started uh, about neurodegenerative diseases. And up to this point, uh, 35 videos, I believe, or 36 videos, uh, we've really been focusing on the cognitive side of things. So we've talked about terms like mild cognitive impairment and dementia and how dementia is not the same thing as Alzheimer's disease. Alzheimer's disease is a cause, one of many causes of dementia. And there can also be many mimics of things that look like cognitive impairment or dementia. Um, but they're actually something different, such as depression. Um, and I'll refer you to some of the earlier videos for more details on that. But I want to use that same kind of um, uh, vein to segue into uh, talking about some issues with movement. And today I want to focus on Parkinsonism. <clears throat> Parkinsonism is really a, it's a constellation of symptoms. Um, these can include muscle stiffness, a term we often use for that is called rigidity, um, muscle slowness, sometimes we refer to that as bradykinesia, um, resting tremor, uh, you know, a tremor that's present at rest, um, and postural instability or gait instability, um, you know, uh, difficulties with uh, imbalance uh, when you're walking. Now, these symptoms together, we, we collectively refer to them as Parkinsonism. This is not the same thing as Parkinson's disease. So remember how I said earlier that Alzheimer's disease is one cause of dementia. Well, Parkinson's disease is one cause of Parkinsonism. Okay. Um, many things can cause Parkinsonism. It can be medications, Parkinson's disease, and there are many atypical forms of Parkinson's disease um, that can also uh, cause these symptoms. Now, Remember, I also mentioned that tremor um, is present in the mix. And I oftentimes will hear people say, um, you know, they'll, they'll spot someone across the room and see them shaking. Um, and they'll say, oh, uh, their, their Parkinson's disease is, is acting up. Or, oh, that person's got Parkinson's disease. And, you know, the, it, Parkinson's disease, any of these diagnoses actually, are not something to be said lightly. And there are many reasons why someone could have a tremor. So um, you know you have to take it in context, and it's important to be evaluated uh, by a neurologist um, who can take everything into context to ultimately determine whether a tremor is actually due to uh, Parkinson's disease, if it represents Parkinsonism, uh, maybe something else. Uh, but there are numerous reasons that someone might have a tremor too. Um, so important distinction to make. So. Throughout a lot of terminology today, we'll dig into it uh, a little bit more uh, granularity in subsequent videos, but just wanted to get the topic uh, started. Um, hopefully it'll provoke some uh, good comments and questions. Remember, these videos are intended to be a resource for you, so please feel free to shoot me some questions. I'll reply to them as uh, fast as I can and um, uh, as accurately as I can too, of course. And um, so we'll kind of segue into this new section. Now, <clears throat> I mentioned that there are numerous causes of Parkinsonism, um, such as Parkinson's disease. We're going to focus on Parkinson's disease, but we'll also focus on some other uh, diseases too that are um, considered atypical forms of Parkinson's disease. And then uh, once we get a little bit past that, there are some diseases that also have cognitive impairment as well as Parkinsonism, and I want to make sure that we focus on those too. Um, so lots of things to come and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and remember there's a little bell on the uh, YouTube app um, if you go onto the smartphone or onto a website click the bell and you'll be notified every time that I post a new video. All right.